Check out how I just made this Italian beef sandwich. Yum yum, get you some. So it starts out with three pounds of a beautiful chuck roast. And all I'm gonna do is take a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna use this as our binder to get the seasoning to stick. Then I'm gonna grab the Dano's Primo. That's the gray silver platinum top. You can see how much we got left. That's probably gonna be just about enough for this. So we're gonna sprinkle generously. So let's flip it over and do it again. Avocado oil and Dano's Primo. Now you know I can sprinkle generously because we're not packed full of salt. We're real ingredients and real good ingredients like black salt, black garlic, black pepper, black cumin seeds, Aleppo flake, and maybe some other little flavors you've never had before. So I'll pat that in. We'll flip it over and get a little more on there. All right, you can see I got both sides nice and seasoned. So now we're gonna fire us up a pan. We're gonna set it to high. And then we're gonna go in with some beef tallow, about that much. And now we lay in our chuck roast. We're gonna give it about one or two minutes. We're gonna turn it down just a notch. All right, it's been about a minute and a half. Look at that sear. Now we're just gonna give it a flip. All right, so now it's real simple. Take your chuck roast. And throw it into your Instant Pot. Maneuver it around so you can get it to lay down flat, just like that. All right, now that we're ready to cook it, we're gonna use the last little bit of that Primo. We're gonna add a little bit of Spicy Danos. That's the red top, just a little bit. Now the last step, I'm using just over a cup of beef stock. Pour that in. All right, now we set it to two hours and we'll see you when it's done. All right, it cooked for two hours and then it rested for two hours. So this was a natural release. Look at that. Smells amazing. Oh yeah, that's one that just fall apart. There we go. Super tender. Just shredding right apart. Let's go on and get a little sample. Oh yeah, that Dano's Primo. That's Primo Dantastic. Now we're gonna get us a pot and a little strainer and we're gonna run the juice through. Now we pour our juice into a dipping bowl. All right, we got all the fat picked out of our meat. Just throw that back into our bowl. And now you need you a big old loaf of bread. Cut it right down the middle. Take your bread, throw it on a tray. Now we throw it in the oven. All right, that toasted for about 10 minutes. You can see it's nice and crispy. Now we do this. Get you a big grab of the meat. And we're just gonna lay it out. Nice thick stack of meat. And now it's time for the good stuff. This is called hot. Gardeniera. I don't know. I'm not even gonna try and say it even though I did, but yeah, that's what it is. This is actually sitting in a bunch of oil. So we're gonna pour this oil out. Now we take our hot Gardeniera and we're gonna lay it right on this top bun. Get you a little try. Oh, get it spread out evenly. Now we're gonna take our Italian cheese blend and we're just gonna pile it on both sides. Press it down. Now, back into our oven we go. Alrighty, about 10 minutes later. Before we put this together, we're gonna add a little bit of that cheesing. That's the cream top. Sprinkle generously. And a little bit of crushed red pepper flake. I think maybe I should make that a product. Like the mix between the cheesing and that. Alright, we gotta do this quick. And now there's only one thing left to do. Just get you a big old dip, and get you a big old bite. Wow. Leave a like, leave a comment, and let us know what you think. Yum yum, get you some.